our chat with hometown celebrity architect Lydia Bennett after this not so classic masterpiece of mandatory CanCon. Is it Hickey? No. It is. It's a Hickey. Oh my God, are you 60? Shut up. Now I know why you weren't picking up the phone. You don't know anything. Mm. Is it serious? Tell me. Fred the Ferryman, Septic Stan. First cousin? Married. Oh. True love. Your Finley Cullen dysfunction is my Finley Cullen dysfunction, just with better shoes. You're like some demented tornado chaser. Yeah, maybe. But this tornado has a massive dick, which I would chase all the way to PEI, baby. And now a word from Pepe's Pizza on the Shore Road. <gasps> well, the rumor mill's working overtime thanks to the giant tribute to Yoni at the studio. And I get it, but you know what really chaps my ass? None of you know the real story, and you're judging. Well, guess what? Open book time, bitches. That's right. Give me a call. We can talk about the truth. Then judge away. Careful, though. She who cast the first stone. Wow. A lot of curious cats and eager beavers out there. Caller, you're on the air. Don't beat around my bush. Are you sleeping with my husband, too? No, Kate, I'm not. But you might want to have a chat with Mr. Parker, the middle school phys ed teacher, about the rubby he gave your hubby. Keep those calls coming like you're Mr. Parker, y'all. The truth's on tap, and it is happy hour all day long. No hardcore boning then, huh? I had a panic attack. Then I ran away, but not before telling him we were bankrupt and that the moonshine is a terrible investment. Compelling pitch. What is wrong with me? I feel like now is not the time to pile on. Oh, I don't know who I am or, or what I want or even what I'm doing here. The only time I'm in touch with my feelings is when I'm having a panic attack. And, uh, yeah, I just wasted 20 years of my life with a man who I'm just now realizing didn't ever really see me. Is that a thing? That is the thing. The only thing and I've never had it. So if you have it with someone, you should probably like <clears throat> hang on to them. Oh my God, Nora, Terry loves you. You love him. Get on with it, you're in love. Shut up. Maybe, I don't know. We're supposed to talk tonight. Rihanna's smiling, which can mean one thing, suicide bomb. Your sluttiness finally paid off. Duffy just came by with a contract. For what? He's in. He is investing. Looks pretty ironclad. <laughs> you close, bitch! Yeah. Ah! This calls for an old school lust monkey headbanger. <gasps> yes? Uh, covers our debt, plus there's enough left over to fix the septic and get new uniform. <laughs> For me to even remember my own name. Good morning from Cove FM, I guess. If you're awake at this ugly hour, you might ask yourself, I'm cursed, right? Well, according to Harnish's A Brief History of Foxton, the whole town is cursed, thanks to our rascally founder, Pirate Captain Fox. Old Foxy sailed the ocean blue and had a merry old time until he shacked up with a hot, powerful sea witch and did the unthinkable. He got hitched. But married life gave Foxy a wandering eye and a fat ass, and the sea witch, well, she wasn't into cheaters with love handles, so she packed her broom and beat it. But not before cursing Foxy's land. Anyone who married here would be doomed to pain and sorrow. And that nagging feeling she should have just kept on driving. And 
we're back with our topic of the day. Creepy shit, witches, curses, male gaze in general. And of course, ghosts. More specifically, ghosting. The art of disappearing to avoid having hard conversations. Should be called chicken shitting. Mm. That, my friend, is what I call effective therapy. Come on, it's cracking a cup. Teenagers live for this shit. Can I ask your advice on something? Uh, it's like a dating thing. Aww. Okay, never mind. No, no, I didn't mean aw like you're a puppy. I meant aw. I'm surprised you're dumb enough to ask me. Yeah, I know your track record sucks, obviously. Well, happy to recycle my mistakes into advice. Shoot. Uh, okay. How do you know if someone's like the one? Okay, um, there is no the one. It is a lie people tell themselves. Love is just chemicals squirting into your brain until you become literally crazy with lust for someone. It's the lie our bodies feed us so the human race doesn't expire. Okay, that seems like a messed up thing to say to your 17 year old nephew. Do you want saccharine? You came to the wrong place. We sell truth here at Cove FM. So Uncle Terry wasn't the, the one? You guys weren't in love or whatever? Um, that was, that, that situation is, there, um, there was a lot going on, complex things. Or you're just scared to tell them how you really feel. I don't want to be 30 and single. No offense. I'm flattered you think I'm 30. The world spins on Foxton, but we're safe and sound in the backwash of summer's past. And it's time to hunker down with a little self-medication warm body of Joyce, drift along to Opportunity is knocking, folks, and it sounds like it's gonna kick the door in if I don't answer, so here's a little something to help you on your psychic journey to the Astro Nowhere. Did you miss the neon on air sign? Someone better be dead. Oh God, someone's dead, is it mom? Remember when dad came back? Jimmy, not dad dad. Pretty sure I'm too stoned to have this conversation. Do you remember? Of course, uh, he gave you a sexy red convertible and all I got was a Roxy music cassette. Jimmy never ditched us. Mom lied, he never left Foxton at all. <sighs> dad killed him. I am so high, I think. Okay. Ken gets weepy when he kills a spider. It doesn't make sense. What do you remember? Mm, I remember it was the summer I discovered mom and dad's pot stash. That makes so much sense. After that night, mom fell into a wine pit of depression. Dad disappeared into an uh, it's all groovy fugue state. Yeah, and you ran away to New York. Going to college is not running away. No, it's bailing. And I'll bet you're about to do it again, right? I know you booked a flight. Oh my God, oh my God, Nora, there's a dead body. We owe a shipping container of drugs to some criminal, God knows who, uh, dad's a killer, maybe, and I've been lied to my entire life. I am so, so sorry, Liz. I can't imagine what I'd do if I was in the exact same situation that is happening to you and no one else. I know you're in this too. I am, and I stick around. Parent our parents, deal with Rianne's unique personality disorder, Ryan's carousel ride through rehab. I told you to come with me. What the hell was I gonna do in New York? Same thing I did, figure it out. Okay. I mean, you act like your life happens to you and it does because you never wanna take a risk or make a decision. Thank you for the motivational speech. I'm right. Which is why I hate you. You love me. And I envy Rianne. Oh. You already got her husband. You want her visor and lawnmower too? She has her own little world, you know? Rigid rules, little boxes to check. Metrics of happiness. I can't even commit to an appetizer without having an existential crisis. Did you freak out with the body? Remarkably even keel went straight into planning mode. Sociopath. What did she remember from that night when Jimmy disappeared? She wasn't there. Yes, she was. Yes, she was. I was in my reality bites phase. I taped the whole night. Could be a clue. You keep that tape? I got this t-shirt in grade nine. Yeah, I kept the tape. That one goes out to a dead guy I barely knew. Gone, but not forgotten. 
Lays on, Jimmy James. Hey, um, just a thought. How about we not broadcast the name of the man our mother killed to the entire town? Yeah, that's a decent point. How are you doing? I don't know. Terry and I are back together. I mean, we were never together together, but um, we are now. So I'm, I guess, happy? Emotionally scarred, but yes. Happy. Oh, God, is that what this is? It's so weird. Or I'm so thrilled for you. Not gonna lie, for myself, too. It's gonna make what I'm about to ask you so much easier. Okay, pouring more wine. Okay, acknowledging our summer has taken a very weird dark turn. Yes. Any chance Terry might be able to throw the scent off while I broke her time with the terrifying biker gang? To find throw scent off. We all know Jill LeBlanc has been smuggling off our land for decades. Okay, you want Terry to plant evidence on Jill so mom's ass isn't thrown in jail and we have time to bury a body. Didn't say that. Very glad you did. Ugh, Mr. Squeaky Clean is gonna love this. Let me see what I can do. Oh, thank you. Okay, thank get you, out. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Go, thank you. please. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.